disease control is a really big issue. In soybeans, it's one that kind of has been taken for granted. You guys say, oh, there isn't a disease problem out in my beans. Okay, look, any soybean field in the United States, if I walk into it at a given point of the year, I'm not saying all year long, but at a certain point during the year, if I walk in there, I'll guarantee I can find some disease. That's Every single that, field in the country. It's because you've got that infectious personality, Brian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, here's the thing. A lot of those diseases are relatively minor. Let's take brown spot, for example. It'll look maybe a little bit like soybean rust, but it doesn't have the rust pustules on leaves. But it starts at the lower end of the plant, starts at about any point of the year. But with brown spot, it usually doesn't hurt yield a lot. It might take off a quarter of a bushel. Uh, maybe it, it's two bushels. Here's it, it the really whole thing. Varies. Here's the whole thing. You have minor diseases all the time. Right. Just like you get a little cold, it's no big deal. You still go to work, you still get everything done during the day. But you know what? It probably did knock off a few percentage points of what your potential was. Right. The same thing's going on in your soybean fields, whether you notice it or not. If you look really close, if you don't have every leaf perfectly green and healthy, you know what? There may have been some disease out there dinging that leaf up. So when we look at soybean plants and we think about the return on investment from spraying a fungicide for disease control, the best time of the year just happens to be right now. This is the time where plants are the most susceptible because they're getting into those reproductive stages. Whenever they're focused on seed production, they're not quite as focused on maintaining their health. They're worried about reproduction here's the time where there's an opening for disease to get in. Okay, so where we've seen, if you're just gonna go out with one application on soybeans with fungicide, the R2 to R3 stage, kind of right in that range is what we're talking about. R2 is full flower, R3 is first pod. So in other words, when you see the very first pod show up in your entire field, that's probably when you should be out there spraying. It also happens to be a good time for spraying soybean aphids a lot of times. So like in our farm the last few years, we've combined the fungicide with the insecticide and wiped out two problems at the same time, done all in one trip. Well, there are a lot of different products out there. Uh, we've certainly heard quite a bit from Headline. It's a very popular product, certainly the most popular fungicide out there, but it's not the only choice. There are some other ones that work very well also. Stratego and Quilt would both be good. With any of these fungicides, when we go out in soybeans, we expect to gain one to two bushels pretty consistently, somewhere in that range. It's not this huge deal, but a lot of times in our farm, we're going out with a half rate because in our area, we don't have ripe conditions. Uh, Brian, you frustrate me sometimes. Brian always says, oh, you know, it's not this great big deal. Well, we had a 17 bushel difference on a field. Yes. You know, it depends on the year, yep. depends on what's out there. And you know what? If you've got a powdery mildew outbreak, maybe it only hits certain varieties of beans. So what? If you're spraying the whole farm, you're going to at least get your money back every year. And then when one of those things hit, I mean, 17 bushels, yeah. that's and, huge. Yeah, and that was from a half rate of fungicide, so it cost us five bucks to gain 17 bushels. That's not always gonna happen, but let me say this. In our area, we don't have as much moisture, we don't have as much disease problems, so we can get by with a half rate a lot of times. If you're in an area that has more moisture, more disease pressure, we strongly recommend that you use a full rate, but keep in mind, you'll probably gain a lot more yield than what we will. You might gain three to five bushels pretty consistently, whereas for us, we're gaining I'd probably a bushel and a half on average. Ooh, I had to spend an extra five bucks an acre. <laughs> oh man, a half a bushel, big stinking deal. You know, do it, just get out there, look at your soybean crop. When you get to that first pod or full flower at least stage, spray some fungicide. You can mix it in with things like insecticide. It's going to pay you back. Yep, another thing that is going to make a difference on your farm is weed control, especially if you miss our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop it on your farm coming up next.